How to write a review article. Step-by-step -step guide. Prisma statement based on a 27-item checklist for writing a well-designed review articles. Number one item for writing a review article is title so you can identify the article as a systematic review, meta-analysis, or both number two item for writing a review article is summary which is based on structured summary such as to write a structured summary including, as applicable, background, objectives, data sources study eligibility, summary criteria, participants, treatments, study appraisal and synthesis methods, results, limitations, conclusions and implications of key findings, and systematic review registration number. Number three item for writing a review article in introduction regarding rational is to explain the rationale for the review in the context of what is already known objectives. Number four item for writing a review article in introduction regarding objectives is to provide an explicit statement of questions being addressed with reference to participants, interventions, comparisons, outcomes, and study design, PICOs. Number five item for writing a review article in methods regarding protocol and registration is to indicate if a review protocol exists if and where it can be accessed, such as a web address, and, if available, provide registration information including the registration number. Number six item for writing a review article in methods eligibility criteria is to specify study characteristics, such as PICOs, length of follow-up, and report characteristics, such as years considered, language, publication status, used as criteria for eligibility, giving rationale. Number seven item for writing a review article in methods regarding sources of information is to describe all information sources in the survey, such as databases with dates of coverage, contact with study authors to identify additional studies, and date last searched. Number eight item for writing a review article in methods regarding survey is to present the full electronic search strategy for at least one major database, including any limits used, such that it could be repeated. Number nine item for writing a review article in methods regarding study selection is to state the process for selecting studies, that is, for screening, for determining eligibility, for inclusion in the systematic review, and, if applicable, for inclusion in the meta-analysis. Number 10 item for writing a review article in methods regarding data collection process is to describe the method of data extraction from reports, such as piloted forms, independently by two reviewers, and any processes for obtaining and confirming data from investigators. Number 11 item for writing a review article in methods regarding data items are to list and define all variables for which data were sought, such as PICO's funding sources, and any assumptions and simplifications made. Number 12 item for writing a review article in methods regarding risk of bias in individual studies are to describe methods used for assessing risk of bias in individual studies including specification of whether this was done at the study or outcome level, or both, and how this information is to be used in any data synthesis. Number 13 item for writing a review article in methods regarding summary measure are to state the principal summary measures, such as risk ratio, difference in means. Number 14 item for writing a review article in methods regarding synthesis of outcomes are for each meta-analysis, explain methods of data use, and combination methods of study outcomes, and if done consistency measurements should be indicated such as p-test. Number 15 item for writing a review article in methods regarding risks of bias across studies are to specify any assessment of risk of bias that may affect the cumulative evidence, such as publication across studies bias, selective reporting within studies.
Number 16 item for writing a review article in methods regarding additional analyses are to describe methods of additional analyses, such as sensitivity or subgroup analyses, meta regression, if done, indicating which were pre specified. Number 17 item for writing a review article in results regarding study selection is to give numbers of studies screened, assessed for eligibility, and included in the review, with reasons for exclusions at each stage, ideally with a flow diagram. Number 18 item for writing a review article in results regarding study characteristics which are for each study, present characteristics for which data were extracted, such as study size, PICOs, follow-up period, and provide the citation. Number 19 item for writing a review article in results regarding risk of bias within studies is to present data on risk of bias of each study and, if available, any outcome level assessment, see item 12. Number 20 item for writing a review article in results regarding risk of bias in individual studies are for all outcomes considered, benefits and harms, present, for each study, simple summary data for each intervention group and effect estimates and confidence intervals, ideally with a forest plot, a type of graph used in meta-analyses which demonstrates relative success rates of treatment outcomes of multiple scientific studies analyzing the same topic. Number 21 item for writing a review article in results regarding syntheses of results are to present the results of each meta-analysis including confidence intervals and measures of consistency. Number 22 item for writing a review article in results regarding risk of bias across studies are to present results of any assessment of risk of bias across studies. See item 15. Number 23 item for writing a review article in results regarding additional analyses is to give results of additional analyses, if done such as sensitivity or subgroup analyses, meta regression, see item 16. Number 24 item for writing a review article in discussion regarding summary of evidence is to summarize the main findings, including the strength of evidence for each main outcome. Consider their relevance to key groups, such as healthcare providers, users, and policymakers. Number 25 item for writing a review article in discussion regarding limitations are to discuss limitations at study and outcome level, such as risk of bias, and at review level such as incomplete retrieval of identified research, reporting bias. Number 26 item for writing a review article in discussion regarding conclusions are to provide a general interpretation of the results in the context of other evidence and implications for future research. Number 27 item for writing a review article is funding that is to indicate sources of funding or other support, such as supply of data, for the systematic review, and the role of funders for the systematic review. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.